Again guys, interview is one of the important process in applying for Schengen Visa because nakasalalay din dito kung i-approve ka nila or i-deny. The consulate, the embassy, they don't want to approve a visa if they feel that the applicant is incompetent. So uh, this way, we make sure that meron kayong panglakan sa darating na um, interview nyo for your visa application. Why do you need full three months visa? In answering this question, please be straightforward and alamin nyo kung ano ba talaga yung intention nyo. Know kung bakit kailangan nyo ng 3 months, 2 months, 72 days ng visa. And um, just mention yung interest nyo for the trip. And if ever man na kailangan na i-reschedule yung um, visa nyo or yung trip nyo, please uh, show willingness to do so. So I need a full three months visa because I wanted to go to a lot of places. Rome, to Italy, to France, to Germany. I wanted to go to, to Latvia. So I needed three months to be able to travel to all those places. Are you married? What does your spouse do? And for how long have you been married? Are you married? So for this question, please guys, um, do memorize the date of your, when, when did you get married? Baka naman pag tinanong kayo ng um, consulate, eh, hindi nyo alam kung ano yung date na nasa marriage certificate nyo. Again, please um, be uh, mindful with your own documents. Memorize each date na nakalagay sa marriage certificate nyo, birthday ng husband nyo, birthday ng anak nyo, ng mother nyo, or like ng pinaka-major family. These are very important kasi hindi lang yung sagot yung titignan nila is how you answer the question. Yes, sir, I'm married. So, my husband plays poker for a living and we just got married recently. We got married on December 28, um, 2018 last year. Are you traveling with someone else other than your husband? Um, simple yes or no can be given. Sabihin nyo lang sa kanila, if you're going to travel alone, then say no. And then if you're going to be traveling with any of your family member or your partner, frankly said yes. Yes, I will be traveling with my husband. Can you show me your bank statement? Pag sinanong nila sa inyo kung pwede ba nilang makita yung bank statement nyo, don't hesitate to show your bank statement. And guys, you know that it's one of the most important um, uh, requirements pagdating sa application. So just uh, give it to the consulate. Make sure that well, the bank statement is original and it has a stamp from the bank because they will not accept it if you just copy it from the internet or if that bank statement doesn't have a signature of approval from your bank. Sure, I have it here. I have everything here. Do you have health insurance for this journey? Simply say yes and show them your health insurance. Um, make sure that your health insurance, guys, na kapahanin yun is valid to that country and it can cover um, uh, areas in Schengen. And if you wanted to make sure kung valid ba yung um, health insurance nyo, there are um, lists most of the time dun sa website ng embassy kung ano yung mga health insurance na pinatanggap nila. Do you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend? With this question. Answer promptly yes or no. If meron kayong um, boyfriend or girlfriend na nasa ibang bansa or nasa Pilipinas, just say yes or no. Hindi, if baka magtanong pa si consulate ka na nakaya katagal ni boyfriend, nasan si boyfriend, uh, anong ginagawa ni boyfriend or ni girlfriend, uh, are you living together, planning to get married soon? I mean, pwedeng isang question lang ano, kung may boyfriend ka or girlfriend, but there are times they can uh, dig deeper. Uh, just to know your relationship with that person. Kasi, guys, uh, napansin ko, medyo sensitive pag meron kang partner or yeah, partner na European citizen, especially kung sila yung inviting person nyo or yung sponsor nyo. Do you have job leave approval from your employer? Once they ask you this, just show the leave approval na galing sa company nyo. If you're not working or if you have your own business, just simply tell them that you own a business and it's not a problem if you're going to the Schengen area for vacation since halok nyo naman yung time nyo and meron namang mag aasikaso ng business nyo if uh, matuloy man kayo sa Europe. Yes sir, I do have my approval leave from work and with staff and signature. How long have you worked for this company? 
answer this question by stating the years that you've been working in this specific company. If you will be able to remember yung um, date na nag-start kayo mag-word, that would be great. But if you cannot remember the exact date, just state the year and that would be fine. So, I've been working with this company for three years now. Do you have any children? If you have a children, simply say yes, and please do make sure um, kung alam niyo kung yung mga birthday na pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga anak niyo. I mean, syempre, um, they will see how precise yung answer niyo. I mean, hindi, it will not be good if dun pala kayo mag-iisip na, okay, si panganay ay December 24 ata. That, that's not acceptable, guys. If you're the parents, make sure to memorize the, the birthdays of your children and be familiar of the work that they do. Because again, embassy can dig deeper and they might uh, ask you um, some personal question regarding your children. Do you have any family members living in the Schengen area? If you do not have a family member in the Schengen area, just simply say no. But if you do, uh, it would be best that mayon palang ilista nyo na yung mga pangalan nila at ilista nyo kung sa ang bansa sa an kung sa ang bansa sa Schengen sila nakatira and then memorize that. If meron man kayong mga malimutan, no need to try to remember that in the same day ng interview nyo. I mention nyo lang kung sino yung alam nyo at kung saan sila nakatira sa Schengen. Do you pay income tax? The expected answer ng consulate is yes. Guys, they wanted to see that you're a responsible citizen ng Pilipinas na nagbabayad ng tax. Now, there will be difficulty if the, uh, you're, you're working or if you have a business and then you're not paying tax. Uh, if, let's say, ngayong taon na to, you quit your job, and you're working, let's say, at home, so wala ka nang binabayaran na tax for now, you can uh, show yung um, ITR nyo uh, kung kailan man yung pinakalas na meron kayo. Kasi ang kailangan nila is malaman na nagbabayad kayo ng tax or na nagbayad kayo ng tax. If um, you said no or never ever kayo nagbayad ng tax, then it will build a lot of question. And they will ask you why, they will ask you bakit hindi ka nag-register sa DIR. And it will be difficult to answer. That's something na mahirap explain sa kanila because they wanted to see that you are responsible. Have you booked the flight ticket? Yes, I did book my um, ticket going to Germany as well as a return ticket. Just simply tell them if you reserve your ticket or if binili niyo na yung ticket, just honestly tell them. Have you ever traveled to other places? Uh, with this question, it would be best na tandaan nyo lahat ng bansa na pinuntahan nyo na. Mention if, uh, if you're good at memorization, which you should be, uh, try to remember the month or the month and year that you went to that place, to that country. Mention nyo lahat because guys, diba, ibibigay nyo nga sa kanila yung um, passport nyo. So they can see if you're telling the truth that you've been to Thailand or you've been to Malaysia, they can see that on the record dun sa stamp ng passport nyo. So as early as now, again, Again, try to recall all the countries that you've been traveling to. How can we know that you're going to return here within the visa approval time? So with this, you just simply uh, mention the important relationship that you have sa home country nyo. If you're a student, tell them na kailangan mo talaga bumalik ng Pilipinas. Of course, dahil may schooling kayo. If you have a business, tell them that you will go back to the Philippines because meron kayong business na nag-aantay or if uh, nagkatrabaho kayo, sabihin nyo siyempre uh, kailangan nyo bumalik sa trabaho after a certain period of time because you have a family to feed, you have a children to feed, so your children go to school. So, ipakita nyo sa kanila yung reason na bakit babalik kayo ng Pilipinas after nang ma-expire ng visa nyo. Kasi guys, yun yung pinakakailangan, uh, gusto nilang malaman eh. And yun yung isa sa mga requirements na napakahirap with proof na babalik kayo ng Pilipinas. How long are you gonna stay in the Schengen area? It sounds easy. I mean, it sounds stupid for the consulate to ask how long are you going to stay? It's already uh, there in my documents. Guys, they wanted to know yung um, limit, kung alam nyo yung limit nyo, kung alam nyo kung hanggang kailan lang kayo pwede mag-stay sa Schengen area. I mean, 
lahat ng documents nandiyan na they just going to read it or uh, examine it but then again they wanted to hear from you how well you know your documents and how well you know your um uh, time that you're allowed to stay in the Schengen area. So just simply state the number of days. And it would be best if you would mention yung date ng flight nyo and yung date ng return nyo sa Pilipinas. Sir, I'm going to stay in the Schengen area for a total of 72 days starting from January 28, 2019 up to March 25, 2019. How much is your salary and how much do you earn? With this, you just need to simply answer your uh, net monthly salary if employer kayo and uh, if employee kayo. And if you own a business, you just mention your net earnings. And how many employees do you have? Now you just need to simply answer how many employers you have. Uh, it must better if you will divide the girls from the boys. So you can just say I have uh, one uh, boy and then two girls working on me. So ganun lang siya Is this going to be your first time in the Schengen area? With this, just simply said yes or no. Now, if yes ang answer nyo, just give the exact detail, give the number of visit na nakapunta na kayo sa Schengen area. If you can recall, kailan yung mga times or yung mga, kailan yung approve ng visa nyo before. And as much as possible, try to be exact. What are your plans after you return? You can just simply tell them kung ano yung mga plano nyo pagkabalik nyo sa um, Pilipinas. They wanted to see ano ba yung mga pinagkakabalahan nyo. Just uh, be straightforward na I'm going back to my work, I'm going back to uh, uh, just taking care of my daughter. Yung basta kung ano yung ginagawa nyo sa Pilipinas before man kayo umalis. That's the only thing that you need to mention to them. What do you know about the countries you're going to visit? Please guys, when answering this question, uh, take time to do some research about the country where you're planning to visit. Of course, uh, hindi naman maganda kung bibisita ka ng France tapos hindi mo alam kung saan ka pupunta. Or pupunta ka ng Germany and you don't even know any tourist area or tourist, uh, famous tourist spot. I mean, kailangan nila malaman how well you know the place that you're going to, to go. And if you're really looking forward to go to a specific place, of course, you will do your itinerary. You, you will do your research. And you need to take responsibilities of yourself to be aware kung ano ba yung pupuntahan ng lugar talaga. What is the purpose of your visit? Give the best answer that you can give. Ano ba talaga yung intention mo? Bakit gusto mo pumunta ng Europe? Guys, ano ba yung visa na inapplyan nyo? If you apply for a tourist visa, of course, you will just simply answer, I wanted to um, go around and see the famous uh, places. I wanted uh, to travel all 26 Schengen countries, something like that. If naman ang visa na inapplyan nyo is family visit, of course, just said na, I wanted to visit my family. I wanted to visit my, my boyfriend. Just be honest. And kung ano talaga yung intention nyo, bakit gusto nyo pumunta ng Schengen area, just simply set that. What property do you have back at home? Just mention all the properties that are under your name. Wedding car, if, if my coach kayo, or condo, or property, or business, or small sari sari store, anything that is under your name. If wala, then just simply said, there's nothing. You already don't have any property in my country. What will you do if your visa is rejected? So the officials wanted to hear that there are other things that you do in your home country. So if ever man na madinay din visa nyo, they wanted to see na um, there are other things that also important in your life. You have your work, you have your family, or you have school. And tell the official uh, all other commitments that you have uh, in your home country. But if my visa would be rejected, I will just um, do the same thing I've been doing with my job and I will have uh, spend more time in the business that I have in my province and maybe I will just reapply like after a year. Are you going to seek employment within the Schengen zone? This can be a tricky question when they ask if you have any plans on looking for a job uh, in the Schengen area. Of course, if you said yes, 
and you're only applying for a tourist visa or a family visa, visa, visa and then you said, no, yes, I'm going to look for another job, then guys, huwag na kayong magtaka, it madenied kayo. Of course, it's illegal to look for a job here in Schengen area if you're just having a tourist visa. This can be a tricky question in a way na baka mabigla kayo, hindi nyo masyadong maintindihan, and mapayes na lang kayo. Guys, please do be very, very careful with how you answer. And uh, please, um, focus dun sa mga question na ibibigay sa inyo, especially this kind of question. I mean, they need to see that you understand your limit. Na alam nyo na hindi kayo pwedeng magtrabaho sa Schengen because you know that your your visa is not uh, a working permit. Where are you going to stay? I'm going to stay with my husband, house, and family. But we're also planning to stay longer in Germany, so we book a hotel there good for two weeks. I have my booking reservation here. With this question, if you are going to stay with your family member, just uh, state that you're going to stay with your family. Uh, sabihin niyo kung saan sila nakatira at yung exact address. And if you're someone naman that just going there as a tourist and you already have um, hotel bookings, Airbnb bookings, mention them, the country where you're going to stay, and the hotels where you're going to stay. Who is going to pay for your visit? Give your best prank answer. If your uh, sponsor would be your mother, your boyfriend, your boyfriend's mom, or your your friend, just simply straightforward tell them this uh, person will be my sponsor. And here are the documents, the sponsorship letter, invitation letter, and the other uh, documents needed from my sponsor. Again, any misleading information that you provided regarding your sponsor, or if there is a information na nasabi kayo that doesn't match the documents that you have from your sponsor, uh, this will show the consulate na you're not a worthy candidate to have an approved visa. So be mindful. Who's going to take care of your business while you're away? I have my brother to take care of my business. If he's not around, I have my mom. When answering this question, just simply tell the relationship that you have with that person who's going to take care of your business or who's going to into your house or sino yung magpapatay sa mga properties nyo. So that's it guys, these are the 30 questions that are included dun sa schengenvisa.info.com uh, There are more questions na nakalagay dun, so if you wanted to see, especially for mga estudyante, uh, you can check the link below, I'm going to have it in the description kung ano yung source na pinagkuhanan ko ng mga questions na to. And yeah, I do hope that this will help you ready yourself for your upcoming visa interview and I wish you all the luck. If there is anything confusing or if you have further questions regarding your uh, Schengen visa, feel free to ask me and I'm very active and I will do my best to answer all your questions. You can uh, message me directly in our Facebook page or you can send me an email. I have all my information in the description below. So if you're not yet a subscriber, please don't forget to do subscribe and hit that bell button to keep up, be updated on my upcoming videos, especially about your Schengen visa application. And I'll see you soon. Bye!